فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحوم كالطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير Then Ibn Ishaq رحمه الله makes mention of a narration and this is in Tafsir al-Tabari Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنه he speaks of at the time when Abu Bakr al-Siddiq رضي الله عنه had entered into a discussion there was a Jewish man by the name of Finhas and this man when the verse was revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that who is there who is prepared to spend for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is going to give who is going to lend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is ready to deposit for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will give them back multiplied obviously a warped mind starts thinking why does Allah need my money you see a warped mind when you say spend for Allah a warped mind says why do I need to spend for Allah Allah is the provider he should be giving himself but people don't understand Allah uses us in order to fulfill the needs of others but he is the fulfiller of the needs he gave you in the first place and then he's saying you know what don't become too clingy don't stick too much to this wealth don't actually become miserly learn to spend it learn to focus because your focus should be on the hereafter and not just material items of this world so this Jewish man by the name of, by the name of Finhas do you know what he said he said, we are actually not in need of Allah. Look, Allah is in need of us. And the evidence of it is that Allah is saying, give for my cause. So we are wealthy and Allah is the one who's poor. Astaghfirullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from such statements. In fact, Ibn Abi Hatim has made mention of a narration. And this is also in Tafsir al-Tabari. Also by Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu an. He says, when the verse was revealed who is ready to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the credit that will be multiplied when it comes back so what happened a certain man he made a statement and he said is your Rabb poor that he is asking us if he was wealthy he would not be asking us so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed verses. Obviously, the story ends that Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu could not tolerate the statement. So he slapped this man Finhas because the man is saying that Allah is poor and I am rich. Look, Allah is asking me for money. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. So Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu slapped him and they went to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they, they this man went to the messenger and said, look at what your companion has done to me, slapping me for nothing. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu says, no, it wasn't for nothing. This is what happened. The man says, no, nothing happened at all. Look at the lies, the falsehood, not realizing they were living during the time of revelation. Revelation would come and expose such statements. You cannot lie to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You would be exposed within split seconds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed verses, verse number 181 of Surah Al-Imran. لَقَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ فَقِيرٌ وَنَحْنُ أَغْنِيَاءُ سَنَكْتُبُ مَا قَالُوا وَقَتْلَهُمُ الْأَنْبِيَاءَ بِغَيْرِ حَقَّ وَنَقُولُ ذُوقُوا عَذَابَ الْحَرِيقَ Allah has heard the statement of the one who has said that Allah is poor and we are the ones who are wealthy. We will write down that statement. And the fact that they are the ones who had murdered the previous prophets. This man was a Jewish man. And Allah says we, they were the ones who had murdered the previous prophets. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says such a person will definitely be served a painful punishment. A punishment that is burning. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the fire. Never make statements. Never make statements of this nature. Allah listens. Allah knows. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has recorded it. May Allah forgive us for the statements we've made that have been wrong.